Hey, Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. And I am Kevin. And we're back, and tonight... A lot of heavy action going on. Mission number three of our yeah. campaign. That's right. It's, it's a it's, turning point for the Capellans. We really need to come back. We've been suffering at the hands of these silly fed sons. Not happening. Not going to let it happen. The, the state needs to revive itself. <laughs> well, we'll see. So we got 10,000 points on the table. Oh, yeah. We got some... This is probably the biggest match we've ever played. I think I'm running three assaults and one heavy in my lance. I have an um, assault, two heavies, and a medium. But slightly better piloting and gunnery. That's right. Yeah, I, I went sort of... I'm sort of homogenized. Uh, Slapshot, unfortunately, not with us today. Uh, he's, uh, he's down with the, the flu. He's, <laughs> he's down with the flu. He's on the other side of the continent. Uh, you know, because little Whitworth legs couldn't get him here fast enough. Um, mission. So what do we got? We got a take and hold mission tonight. Mm -hmm. um, so this is cool. And I hope you guys love the centerpiece on our battle grid tonight. I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, we'll save it for the clip. It's awesome. Uh, so take and hold mission is there's an objective in the center. And as long as a mech is within three inches of that objective, they're considered to be contesting it. Correct. Um, if, yep. if only one side is contesting the objective, at the end of the turn, they score two victory points. Yep. Right? And uh, contesting is zero for both sides? That's right. Yeah. You don't get anything if you're contesting. So if like, we're, we both have mechs within three inches, nobody gets points. So it's definitely going to be a race to get there early in the game and then clear out whoever whoever's just around uh, this, this exciting objective that we will unveil shortly. Um, and so you also get points for killing max per usual, crippling per usual, um, but this is definitely uh, it's critical to control that. It's going to be a slugfest. It, it is. It is. And it's not going to be an easy objective to hold. It's it's quite obtrusive. <laughs> it's obtrusive. <laughs> um, let's talk about forces. Yeah. 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 Shall I? Go Shall for I go it. For? All right. So uh, I mentioned it in the wrap up of the last video, but it's happening. I've got the Highlander, ninety tons. Did a little tweaking on this guy. Um, I always found it like weird that, you know, with the SRM-6 pairing with the LRM-20, so I dropped the SRM-6, I downgraded the LRM-20, and I replaced the SRM-6 with an LRM-10. So basically, I went from 20 LRMs to 25 LRMs and got rid of the SRM. Sounds like a lowlander. It's a lowlander. Uh, I like it. We're going <laughs> to trademark it. Uh, added a couple of heat sinks um, to make the mech a little bit more efficient, but overall, still the, the Highlander we know and love. Uh, got an awesome stock out of the box. I have a Victor. Um, so this is uh, my, what is it, 92 variant, where I dropped the SRM-4 and put an LRM-5 on there. Um, still has that meaty AC-20, so hoping that gets into play. Um, and then lastly, I've got an Archer. Ouch. Yeah, so, you know, I'm hoping to, with this objective in the middle, I'm sort of second-guessing that. It's going to be raining in the desert. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, so the Archer's pretty sock. I just dropped those rear-mounted medium blazers and, and added a couple heat sinks, but otherwise... Uh, just a regular old archer. So lots of armor, um, not a lot of speed, lots of LRMs, lots of big guns, three PPCs, two AC-20s. So it's like you said, slugfest is the best word for it. What about you? What did you, what did you bring? So the Capellans are showing up with a new backup force today. Ooh. House Poding. So the Honorable House Poding is showing up with their heavy lance. Poding's so, a bit of a legend around here at DFA Wargaming. So Poding is piloting his Marauder 2. So the 100-tonner has shown Ooh. up for the fight. Um, so large laser, two PPCs, mm. two mediums, heavy hitter. Yeah, like 8,000 heat sinks. Yeah, yeah, a lot of armor, <laughs> a lot of melting to do. <laughs> and then I got a Thunderbolt 5SE. Nice. LRM 10, uh, large laser, I believe three mediums. Okay. Uh, Grasshopper 5H. Oh, wow. So. LRM5, so pretty much large laser, mediums, and then similarly I have a Centurion AL. Large laser, LRMs, oh, AL. mediums. Do so, all of your mechs have 100% armor coverage? Pretty close. I think, I think so pretty close, yeah. We, we have a pretty balanced, but, you know, sort of the, the evolution of the same loadout. Yeah, the I, whole mean, way through. I see that. Yeah, that's a good, that's going to be a good so lance. We'll yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, well, uh, went through the forces, we went through the mission. I think we're ready to get started. All right. I'm All right, excited. guys. We'll head over to the battle grid, and we will be right back after that with deployment.
All right, here we are on Bora 5 in the south part of the continent. And there it's they are. hot. It's, it's so hot. There they are. Freshly minted and painted Kevin's Warrior House Poding. Very nice. Hey, hey honorable. Tom. What's going on, brother? <laughs> Over here, we've got. The Fed Sons, the Royal Sin Grenadiers, deployed along this line. Did a little bit of a, a wider deployment. Got the Archer out here on the right flank. We have the Victor, the Highlander in the middle, the Awesome there on the left flank. Kevin, anything exciting about your deployment that you'd like to share? Uh, the fact that there's a Union dropship in the center of the map. God, look at that. It's beautiful. Newly, newly minted off the 3D printer. And uh, still needs some detail work, but we wanted to get it out on camera early. So yeah, it's here. Well, it looks great. It's an awesome centerpiece. And that is where those pesky rebels yes. are loading up. So They are trying to evacuate the planet. <clears throat> and the Fed Sons, right, they sabotage the weapon systems. So this thing is just a dead duck. And, and the Capellans <laughs> are here. <laughs> I'm on your team. To evacuate. Sneaky Capellans. I know, they're always hiding in the shadows. I'm just waiting for the Death Commandos to jump out. <laughs> Did I say something against the state? Is that why you were... You assassinate you for your failure. <laughs> we cut it and I'm here. I'm like, hi, I'm Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> well, typical Capellans, and thank goodness, there's houses Back like Davion here just... to free the inner sphere of such filth. But we will be back after turn one movement. All right, here we are after turn one movement. So, um, Kevin, shockingly, one initiative. Um, and so I had to make my first move here. The Victor tearing straight towards the objective at top speed. The rest of the mechs falling in, maintaining that line abreast. Um, looking for angles here on this incoming force that apparently is moving in a little bit to, uh, to my left. So we'll see what happens here. I want to make sure that Archer doesn't get isolated. Kevin, what about you? What'd you do? I feel like you just stole my thunder and described my move. Oh, sorry. But yeah, they're, they're <laughs> coming in on your left, my right. Uh, oh, you know, echelon pattern. I like it. That's Very about nice. it. Everybody's advancing. All right. So on to turn two. All right, war gamers, we are back. Turn two. The missiles are going to be flying. So Kevin, no surprise, wins initiative. So the Grenadiers have to move first. Um, and so what I'm starting to do now is I, you know, I see that what, what's going on over there. I'm going to try to pull a little bit this way. You My Victor that. is still on a beeline <laughs> for that drop ship, trying to get within three inches, should be there next turn. But of course that grasshopper, uh, very close as well. Um, I've got, you know, the, the Highlander making a break this way. Archer still moving up on the hill, has commanding line of sight, uh, but nobody is in range, keeping out of, keeping out of the, the distance there, those LRM 20s. So... Uh, that's what we got on the Grenadier side. Kev, what about you? All right, we are, as you said, converging around the oil tanks here. Um, and there's going to be some LRMs coming in from the Grasshopper across to the Awesome. That's all I can really see. And then the Marauder 2 and Thunderbolt are going to try to get that Highlander with their LRMs. Okay, excellent. Um, I should mention also, yeah, I have LRM fire from the Victor. Uh, into the Marauder and from the Highlander into the Thunderbolt as well. So, any cover situations I have going on? Uh, looks like the arms are blocked on the Marauder from the Victor. So, that's about it. Don't love those arms. Don't hit them. I'll try not to. All right, cool. Well, shooting coming right up. All right, so starting on the Grenadier side, we've got the Victor firing through the pylon of the dropship, a single LRM5 at Poding himself, the infamous, the nefarious. So I need nines uh, to hit. Here we go. Misses. All right, so we'll move on to the Highlander. Um, so the Highlander here, he's going to be firing across at that Thunderbolt with an LRM-10 and an LRM-15. Now remember, this guy's a little modified. So I need nines on each. Um, small dice here representing the LRM-10. The big black one is the LRM-15. Here we go. Ooh. Double eight. Ah! All right, so Close. LRM sale, nothing hitting. Starting off with the Centurion. So I said before Marauder, I meant Marauder was spotting for the Centurion. So LRM 10s going into that um, Highlander. I need 11. Ooh. 
It's gonna be a good night. <laughs> Clusters. Both. All right, some location. First blood. All right. It's right gonna be arm, right CT. arm and, yep, CT. Thunderbolt's up. Also trying to go for that Highlander. He's got a better angle and shot, so he's gonna be needing eights. No good. Next up is the Grasshopper, firing across that awesome. He's gonna mm. need sevens with his LRM5. No good. Mm. All right, so one hit on the Highlander. Turn two damage recap, first blood. The Centurion being spotted by the Marauder 2 lays a full salvo into the Highlander, damaging the CT and the right arm. All right, here we are, back with turn three after movement. Uh, so, Grenadiers actually won initiative this time. So, Kevin, you had to make the first move. What happened on your side of the table? All right, so Grasshopper went up to hold the objective. He's going to be doing a, an LRM fire across to that awesome. The other three moved up into formation century and wrapped back around and got some cover behind these guys. The Thunderbolt and the Marauder 2 are firing at the Highlander with PPCs and LRM respectively, and then the Centurion doing his LRM 10 fire over at that Awesome. So splitting some fire on both Awesome and Highlander. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, so same deal with the Victor, just moving in to secure the objective, so we'll contest that. Uh, it doesn't look like either of us are going to be able to take down you know, the Grasshopper or the Victor, so no points will be scored there. Uh, move the archer down off the hill. Um, was hoping to get him around and put some fire on the back where the grasshopper is, but I think I'd rather have him, you know, be here to provide sort of an angle of fire this way. Um, awesome continuing to move back across the middle here. He's going to be torso twisting, firing three PPCs um, at that um, Thunderbolt. And the Highlander... Also, just sort of leading the way here, he's going to be turning and dropping 25 LRMs on that Thunderbolt. So, Starting off with the Centurion, LRM 10 fire into that awesome. He needs nines. No good. Next up will be the Grasshopper firing across at the same awesome. He needs sixes. This is the LRM 5. Ooh, bad day. It's okay. So Sandstorm. Okay. Now, pivoting <laughs> fire. We're going to be that. firing across that Highlander. <laughs> we'll start off with the Thunderbolt. He needs a six. Whoa. Oh, dang. Mm. Look at that gunnery. Oh, got it. So, clusters, just one of them. Location. CT. CT hit. All right, last but not least, my Marauder firing over at that Highlander, the two PPCs. Mm. <clears throat> he needs sevens. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That, that. All right, so we're starting off with this awesome torso twisting, blasting three PPCs. Oh. That's brutal. Oh. But I need nines to hit, so I'm going to be chain firing, just zapping as I'm running. Here we go, PPC number one. Miss. PPC number two. That's a hit. PPC number three. Miss. All right, so one hit. It's getting hot in the desert. Nine, so it's gonna be a left leg mm. on that Thunderbolt. All right, so the Highlander's up, dropping some LRMs in on the Thunderbolt. Mm. Need sevens, uh, doing the same thing. I have a, a big die and a little die. The little one is the LRM 10. All right, so that is gonna be uh, all hits. So it's going to be 25 LRMs. All right, sorry, we rolled clusters off camera, but uh, got one from each launcher. So only two clusters hit here. Um, here we go. Location. So we've got right torso and left leg again. I believe that that Thunderbolt has pretty meaty leg armor. So uh, that's it. Grenadiers are done shooting. We're ready for turn four right after the damage recap. Turn three damage report. The Highlander Continuing to be in a missile fight here takes a little bit more to the CT armor holding up just fine and on the Capellan side the Thunderbolt on the receiving end taking a little bit of damage to that right torso and a decent chunk out of that left leg 
All right, Wargamers, we are back. It is turn four after movement. Kevin won initiative, uh, so the Grenadiers had to move first. Here's what happened. Um, moved the awesome first and foremost, continuing his flanks, trying to draw these guys in. He'll be raining PPC fire down on that Centurion, just two this turn. Uh, the Highlander continuing to bank in. Um, also will be firing at the Centurion, 25 LRMs coming in there. The Archer came down off the hill, had very splotchy line of sight, so opting not to shoot there. Um, just way too much cover in the way. And the Victor took a bold move, stepping up under the pylon, and he's going to be alpha striking the Centurion. So AC-20, two mediums, and an LRM-5. It's not fair. Kevin, what did you do? All right, so my little formation here moved up, the Marauder taking the lead, trying to provide some cover to the other two. Uh, but that Centurion, unfortunately, is, is a little exposed. But the Thunderbolt and the Centurion will be firing at the Awesome across the way with LRMs and large lasers. Similarly, the Grasshopper planted where he was, going to be trying to pick off that Awesome with a large laser and LRM. Five, the Marauder is meeting that Victor underneath the um, fuselage there and is going to be firing his large laser and two PPCs into him. It's a lot of, it's a lot of firepower. Mm. All right, well, shooting for turn four coming right up. All right, Royalston Grenadiers up, trying to drive these Capellans off four or five once and for all. So the awesome is firing across at that Centurion. Sees a nice little target there. Uh, he's going to need eights to hit. So the question is, do I group fire or do I chain fire? You love the chain fire. I do love it. Um, but I will be group firing. Here we go. Should have chain fired. <laughs> I blame you, Tom. I blame you. All right, so the, uh, the Highlander is up next. He also needs mm -hmm. uh, eights to hit. He's firing across. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we can do a little better here. Oh, my God. Oof. Oh. This is Shake just, yeah, well, you know, if Slapshot were here, this this would not be flying. So lastly, the Victor, can he do something? Mm. I need sixes and eights. Six on that LRM5. The eights. Victor's going into the Marauder? No, the Victor's going into the Centurion, Ooh. too. So it was a missed opportunity here. We could have laid down some serious hurt, but just these pilots can't hit the broad side of a barn. Uh -huh. um, however, the Victor pilot, looking good. So everything hits but one medium laser. Rolling for cluster. Um... That is confirmed. So it's going to be 20, 30 points of damage coming in. Now, if I get a headshot on the AC-20, this Victor's getting a name. Probably Victor. No? <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Rolling for location. Oh! <laughs> Almost. Um, all right, so that's going to be left arm, left leg, and center torso. All right, we're going to be starting off with the Centurion. He's a little upset that he was getting singled out. He's firing at that awesome with the mm. LRM 10 and large laser. He needs 7 and 8, respectively. Mm. Just no good. All right, we'll move right on to the Thunderbolt. He needs 6s and 7s with the same, uh, actually an LRM 10 and a, um, yeah, same thing, and the uh, large laser at that awesome. Sixes and sevens. Okay, so just the LRM ten. Ooh, both hit. This is in the front arc of that awesome. Right, so it's gonna be left, left arm, arm and left arm, yeah. right? Yeah. Looking good. Alright, Grasshopper firing into that awesome. He planted, so he's got a four five for the LRM five and large laser. So, just the LRM. Oh, large yeah. lasers laying it down. <laughs> the worst. I know. One hit. All right, so it's going to be the left arm. Right arm, I think. Yeah. The other left. The other left. You got it. All right, Marauder's up, firing under at that. Victor he needs fives to hit with his large laser and two PPCs. All right, just the PPCs. Again with that large laser. Just do not want to hit, thankfully. 
Right, right torso, center torso. Ouch. Turn forward damage recap. The awesome getting in the fight now. Uh, using his arms as shield, deflecting some of that LRM fire and soaking it in. Uh, just a little bit of damage there to the arms. The Victor, now at close range, engaging with that AC-20, getting pegged by two PPCs to the center and right torso. But in return, the Victor unloads on the Capellan Centurion, and that Centurion gets ripped into. Left arm is critical, and some splash damage to the CT and the left leg. All right, here we are, turn five, Warrior House Poding winning the initiative now, four turns out of five. Uh, so that forced the Grenadiers to go first, and uh, we've been dancing around this dropship, and I'll tell you, losing initiative, uh, it, was, it was tough. Um, so the first thing was I moved the awesome around this way, um, so there's a nice broad line of sight to, to most of the mechs on the field. The archer now cleared this hurdle, uh, able to see very clearly now. Um, the victor took a step back. I was hoping to bring something in, um, but Kevin didn't bite. But the Highlander now in AC-20 range. So um, with that Marauder 2 in the, in the Vanguard, we are just going to focus that. Um, three PPCs from the Awesome, 25 LRMs and an AC-20 from the Highlander, and 40 LRMs from the Archer all going into that Marauder 2. So we'll see... We'll see what happens. Now, the, the, I will admit the record sheet, daunting was the word Kevin used. <laughs> when you look at the center torso, there's barely enough space on the record sheet for all the 304 players. points of armor. Well, we'll see what we can do. Maybe I can get a lucky headshot with the AC-20. Maybe it'll fall and explode. Maybe. We'll see. All right, so what did you, what did you guys do on your end of the field here? All right, so the big boys, Grasshopper and Marauder, creeped up under that drop ship. They're both going to be firing into that. Highlander with nearly everything they have. Marauder okay. will be not using one of his mediums, but otherwise they're both doing near alpha. Gotcha. Um, Thunderbolt planted, firing a large laser and LRM at the awesome. Centurion likewise, but he backed up a little bit, getting a little heat. He wants to stay out of the action. Yeah. All right. Well, shooting turn five coming right up. All right, so the Grenadier's up first, this 80-ton awesome uh, all nice and cool, ready to open fire with three PPCs. It walked. I'm at medium range. I only need sixes to hit. So, here we go. Group firing, Tom. I was... Could have sworn you said you are never going to group fire again. Well, when you're I, under I seven, when you're under seven, thing. it's a good time to group fire. Oh. Kevin, if you win nice this guys. one, I want you to know why. We're gonna, we're gonna burn that dropship to the ground. Burn it to the ground. It's, Wait, hold uh, on. That's my dropship. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, my, that's all right. I've, I've sold that. You have bought you out. Yeah. Um, we're actually out. gonna move into the archer here. The archer needs um, archer needs sevens to hit. So. Never gamble yeah. against a compelling when death is on the line. There we go. All right. So forty LRMs coming in. Let's roll for clusters. First launcher. Second launcher. Just twenty a hit. Only fifty fifty. That sucks. Rolling for location. Headshot. All right, so we got a head, we got some left arm, and we got a little bit, uh, a little more left arm. All right, so tally that up. All right, so lastly, we've got the Highlander. Mm. Feeling depressed um, about that awesome, but maybe the Highlander can redeem it. 25 LRMs. Going for the Marauder? Going for the Marauder. Mm. Got an AC-20. The AC-20 needs a nine to hit, though. Uh, LRMs need a six. We're going to just group fire this up. Hope for the best. Here we go. LRM 10 hits, rolling for clusters. Can you hear the depression in my voice, Tom? I, I can, but I see two hits. Yeah. yeah. They're clustered. What yeah, that? it's, uh, it was that left torso. So 10 to the left torso. That's not going to do anything to that Marauder, unfortunately. All right, Centurion is starting us off. The large laser and LRM 10, he needs sixes and sevens. All right. Clusters, just one of them. Large laser hit though, finally. Wow, first first of the game? Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> sorry. All right, so head and C. CT takes five and a headshot with the large laser. That's mm. a punch. Thunderbolt's up, Ooh, Thunderbolt. same thing, LRM 10 and large laser, but he's got a little bit of a better bonus, so five, six to hit that awesome. 
All right, both again. Another M10 clusters, just one of them again. Man. Maybe a headshot with that large laser. Just kill them outright. So CT with the LRMs and the right um, leg with the large laser. All right, Marauder's up. He's mm -hmm. going to try to hurt that Highlander over there. He's got large laser, medium laser, two PPCs. He needs five for the big boys and six for the medium. So many dice. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I feel somewhat vindicated. I'm not going to lie. PPC is letting you guys down. <laughs> just, wow, just a medium laser. I mean, what is going on? All right, Grasshopper's up, hoping to hurt that Highlander with a full alpha strike. He needs fives and sixes. Fives on the LRM and large laser. Whoa. Looking pretty good. I think that's a full house. This was just an LRM. He's five. the only guy that actually knows how to shoot. And it hits. <laughs> He's like, I got you guys. Don't worry, everybody. Let me show you how. All right, now, Dead. so the, Tom, what is it? The right side is obscured on this Mac? That's right, yeah. Okay, so I'm looking for basically all sixes here. I think that's all left side and yeah. center. That, that, that helped. All right, well. We will compute that off camera. Sounds good. Turn 5 damage report on the Federated Sun side, that Highlander getting drilled by the Grasshopper and the Marauder. Armor still holding strong, uh, but it is looking worse for wear. The awesome LRM's reigning in from the Centurion and the Thunderbolt uh, gets hit in the head. Pilot is still conscious. That mech is up to four points of heat. And the Marauder 2, now the focus of the Federated Sun's combined wrath, is knocked over and prone, head hit and heat up to five points. All right, guys, we are back. Turn six, movement recap. So, of course, shocking, Kevin won initiative. We tied it first, but then he won the roll off. Um, so the Grenadiers now are, you know, are, are waiting uh, for these, these warriors of House Poding to come around the corner here, um, which they are. Now, some interesting things happen. If you remember from the damage recap, that Marauder 2 fell over. Uh, so I, uh, in my movement, pulled the archer out, moved the awesome across, moved these guys in. I wanted everyone to have line of sight on that Marauder too. Uh, I'm going to be putting three PPCs into it, 40 LRMs, 25 LRMs and an AC-20, an AC-20, two mediums and LRM-5. Basically, everything I can. Actually, he's also firing a medium laser, the Highlander. So it's a lot of firepower going into that Marauder too. Um, I have good target numbers, but we'll see. That Marauder 2 is armored like, I mean, literally the most armor you can have in the game. Yeah. I sometimes think it's a mistake to fire at heavily armored mechs. We're going to see. We're, yeah, I'm curious to see how. We're going to find out how this shakes out. I mean, two AC-20s, yeah. I mean, three mechs, PPCs. Yeah. That's a lot of damage, but yeah, you know, if, if it rolls favorably and spreads around the mech, he, he might walk through fire, but we'll see. Kev, what do you got going on? All right, well, you can see as they're arrayed uh, for fire and the grasshopper sort of taking a charge. Nice lance formation, by the way. Thank you. Very disciplined warriors you have there. The marauder will be, so essentially, <clears throat> the uh, everybody except for the centurion will be firing into the victor. Okay. So centurion's shooting across at the highlander just because the way his friendlies are giving him uh, yeah, a blocking, blocking line of sight. sight. Yep. Um, Marauders firing everything except for his large laser. Uh, the Grasshopper is alpha striking. The Thunderbolt is firing everything except for, I believe, his... Um, hmm, we'll say his mediums. Okay. And then the Centurion is firing everything. All right, sounds good. All right, well, we will get right back to shooting in just one minute. All right, so Grenadiers will be shooting first. We're gonna start out with that awesome bearing down on the notorious Poe Ding and his Marauder 2. I only need fours to hit. That's courtesy again, he's got no 
movement mod, no target mod on that mech from falling, over. From falling over. Exactly. And taking the heat penalty on this movement. That's right. That that was a double whammy. So, can we do it? Okay. They all land. So 30 points of damage coming in. You're gonna love those PPCs now. Oh aren't you? man, I was hoping for a headshot. Bucks all right. So we have uh, 20 to the left arm, 10 to the left torso. All right, Victor's up next. So uh, we got an AC-20, so meaty. LRM-5, well within minimum range. Two medium lasers. I need fours and then a six on the LRM. So here we go. Let's look at this juicy die here. Mm. This AC-20's hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Well, I rolled a one, but, so the one medium laser misses. However, we still managed to hit with this, rolling for the cluster. Hits. So this is gonna be another 30 points of damage. So we're up to 60 points on this Marauder. He might be falling down again this turn. We'll see. All right, so location. Oh my God, another almost headshot. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is a lot in the, again, still hitting that left side. So we have 25 to the left arm and five to the left torso. All right, we're back with the Highlander shooting over the shoulder of his little brother. Um, right at six inches, so the way the minimum range worked out, I just need fours across the board. Here we go. Everything hits. So, we're going to roll for our clusters here. I got the LRM-10 and the LRM-15. Alright, so we got 20 missiles hitting. So this is going to be 20, 45 more damage. So we got to 105. <laughs> Points of damage. Somehow this thing's still. I'm looking at the record sheet. It, you know, doesn't even look that bad. But here That's we go. Bad. That's pretty bad. I need all left torso. That's what I need. I got to put this guy in force withdrawal. Here we go. Ooh. All right. Well, we have one floating critical, uh, and we got some CT. We got some right torso. We got some right legs. Some right arm. So we'll we'll figure this out and uh, get back. All right. Saving the archer for last. Hoping to generate some criticals here with these clusters. The archer, it's locked and loaded, needs fives to hit. Whew. Just get it by the skin of my teeth here. So first launcher, just two. Second launcher, it's a full house. So six clusters in total. So that's another 30 points of damage. So he's up to 135 points of damage. That's going to be a tough piloting check, but. What I need is some left side hits. Here we go. Need lots of eights. Ah, not a lot of eights. Um, a couple of nines, but one uh, shot into that left torso. It's not going to be enough to put that mech into force withdrawal. All right, Centurion's up. Full house coming in at the Highlander. He needs sixes and eights for his mediums. Oh my god. Terrible. All right, Thunderbolt's up, firing into the victor. He's holding back one medium. He needs six universally. That's with minimum range. All right, everything hits. Clusters, both. All right, pray for the best. Where's that, where's that LRM-20 ammo? Or I mean, AC-20. Just hit my legs. Some good hits. Some CT there. Marauders up, firing everything but the large laser into that Victor. He needs threes on the PPCs. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, threes on the PPCs and fours on everything else on the mediums. <clears throat> All right. Nice. Locations. Whoa. I was hoping for something big there. But a CT shot with a PPC, and then some left side. All right, Grasshopper is up now. He will be doing his full alpha strike into that victor. He needs fours, fives, and sevens. Oh my god. Mm. Everything hits. Yes. Well, yes. not one of the mediums. Near roll clusters. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cluster hits. 
Come on. Critical hit engine. Turn six damage report on the Fed Sun side. The Highlander, no damage, up to seven points of heat. Looking at a movement penalty, same deal with the Awesome, up to eight points of heat. Looking at movement and gunnery penalties, but the real story is the Victor. So many criticals, arm blown off instantly. Center torso takes three critical hits. The right torso, ammo bin explodes. That mech is destroyed. And the Marauder 2, still on point, taking damage across the board. Knocked over again. Pilot is now unconscious. That mech is in trouble. Depression setting in on the Fed Sun side. But both not sides. for long. The the both sides. Not for long. The battle may not be lost. We'll see. This will be a telling turn. So, shocking. I know. I lost initiative. Um... So what did I do? Well, I cried a little bit and bitched and moaned about how many criticals Kevin uh, rolled last turn. And after that was done, I decided to start moving my mechs. Uh, so what, <laughs> what I did Can here we was... recap what happened? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and Victor got melted? Yeah, well, we covered it in the damage recap. So, yeah, so would you like to talk about how you just absolutely trounced mm. the living crap out of that Victor? Criticals... Coming Only in like initiative shots. Died on a fall. Oh God, died on a fall. It's, it's ignoble. It's ignoble. It's noble. He's never getting a name. No. <laughs> so, so I got objective points. However, you did knock that Marauder unconscious. So, I did. Yeah. So it's it's. We'll see what happens. There's a little bit of poetic justice. Archer out on the flank. Uh, he's going to be raining LRMs down on the Grasshopper. Awesome. Uh, Kevin did a nice job of screening them, but I'm going to fire two PPCs in there. We'll also be doing a little little kicking going on. Uh, so hypothetically, if hypo you survive, hypothetically, I mean, well, yeah, that's true. You could find the ammo bin on the awesome. I'm sure. I'm sure if anyone right. can do it, you can. Um, it's a fusion engine in there. So, so the Highlander marched forward at maximum speed here, um, just getting within range of that downed unconscious Marauder. It's gonna be crazy, Kevin. You're up. So I got butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, Marauder, dreaming sweet dreams, nothing can happen to you in your dreams. Uh, the Grasshopper <laughs> Freddy Krueger ran up. Obviously, he wants to screen his buddy. So, he got in front of that. Awesome. Going to be laying in everything except for the yellow rams into the awesome. Probably kicking back, too, hypothetically. If he doesn't fall and go unconscious. Yeah. Uh, the other two said WTF. They started to back up. And they're going to be firing into that Highlander with everything but their LRMs. Yeah. So I think I think we if, if the Highlander is successful, I think I got two nicknames for him. It's either the Sandman or it's <laughs> or it's Freddy Krueger. Oh sure. my goodness, Krueger or yeah. Sandman? I well, love no, about technically it. Ooh, the Highlander animal. cut off heads, right? Oh, that Highlander. A little Duncan McCloud. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There can me. only be one. <laughs> uh, how about Duncan? Kruger, oh McLeod, I like it. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. The Sandman, Sandman's also Kruger real good. McLeod. You can all just right. add them all together. <laughs> Shooting coming right up. All right, we're kicking it off with the awesome. Mm. Uh, he's uh, he's plugged up here at. Uh, they look ready to fight each other. Yeah, they're going fisticuffs. Um, base to base. He is uh, at minimum range. I need nines to hit, so this is not going to be easy. Uh, and we're just going to group fire these. Here we go. We're hoping for. Got one. Whoops. Runaway dice. All right, so right arm. So 10 damage to that right arm. All right, so now the archer, with utmost confidence in the Highlander, switching targets onto that grasshopper, needs fives to hit. Wow. Just uh, almost heartbreak there. Okay, so first launcher. That was sort of bad. Second launcher. Did you get two? Yeah. And then full house on that one. All right, so six again. That's not bad. Um, we are in the front arc of this grasshopper. So here we go. Starting to chip the paint. Uh, see a little bit of CT, a little bit on the left arm, left torso, left leg. All right, so here it is, the epic. This is, this is where I cry on camera if I roll less than a five. Uh, so Sandman aiming. His big bore AC-20, right at the head, pow. Can we do it? We need a five. 
So here we go. I need a six, seven, or eight. 11. All right, so rolling for location normally. Right leg. All right, so we got one more medium laser. Uh, aim and hit the head. So once again, hit the head. I need to confirm six, seven, or eight. Eight. So head takes five points of damage. Um, I can confirm a critical. Maybe I can get a cockpit shot out of this. Or roll a 12. Of course not. Grasshopper meeting that awesome out in the field there. Everything but the other M's. He needs four. Everything. <clears throat> oh my god. Ejecting. He's not gonna like this. <clears throat> Alright, Centurion is up. Firing at the Highlander, who needs sixes and sevens. Firing large laser and two mediums. Can't hit the legs though. Right. <laughs> Some spread. All right, Thunderbolts up, doing three mediums and a large into that Highlander. He needs sixes. Ugh, but two of the mediums hit. Large is no good. It's gonna be a left torso and right torso. Okay, shooting phase is over. We're into the physical attacks and the Highlander is going to curb stomp the Marauder with a little revengeance for, for his downed uh, buddy. Yeah, I mean, this is not going well here. The awesome, which you will find out in the damage report, just had its cockpit blown out. Um, mech is mostly fresh, so that'll make some nice salvage for Kevin. Uh, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see what we can do here. Uh, Sandman. Get some revengeance. We're gonna have to paint awesome for next uh, week. Now it is an automatic hit. He's immobile. That's right. All this stuff prone. I mean, I, I so can't do I can't have stack. To roll the dice? I don't. I just oh. have to roll for location here. Okay, let's do now it. Now it's 2d6 because he's prone. Oh, it's full location. Full location, 2d6. If I can get a 12 here, I can retreat redeem a happy everything. man. Yeah, <laughs> redeem everything. The cloud gets his name. Uh, but once again, we're kicking you in the right arm, which is pretty much. Negative useless. kill confirmation. Turn 7 damage report on the Federated Sun side. We'll kick it off with the Highlander taking a little bit more damage to those side torsos, up to four points of heat, but still in the fight. Unlike its lance mate, the awesome, taking a barrage of lasers, one of them finding a home in the cockpit. That head goes up in smoke. The pilot is killed and that mech is out of commission. On the Capellan side, the grasshopper, starting to take a little bit of damage, up to four points of heat, but this mech's still in great shape, especially for this late in the game. And the Marauder, absolutely unkillable, just red and orange across the board. Three hits of the pilot, the mech's knocked over, but it just won't die. Here we are in the blasted southern expanse of Bora 5. The Royalston Grenadiers absolutely routed by Warrior House Poe Ding in the final moments of this campaign. Two of the Fed Sons assault mechs just cored out, one pilot dead. And so the Grenadiers retreating back as the Capellans escape. Thousand points. I feel terrible. Victory is mine. <laughs> Finally, Capellans get their revenge. <laughs> it's okay. Don't hug him. He's it's had okay. two victories. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. No, <laughs> no I mean, straight back. The Capellans straight oh, yeah, back. I should, um, I should be on this side. I'll just start by saying I had some awesome lucky rolls. Some yeah. some great criticals. The headshot was really just a turning point. With the awesome. Right. Aside side. from your botched headshot. Oh god, I could not kill him. My I returned it. Really, it was like a it was reversal. Poetic. It was yeah. poetic. It was very cinematic. Um I was very frustrated, but um yeah. it was a it was a fun game for sure. Um the uh I think one of the critical mistakes that I made 
was, um, and, and, I, and I almost swear I never do this, is, is spreading my forces in deployment. It's like something I always tell myself not to do, and I almost never do it. Never fighting land war in um, Asia, you know? You just... <laughs> <laughs> I thought that dropship, you know, was it was so big, just so big, Kevin. I know it was. I wanted to have angles of fire around it. I thought you um, almost had it too. And I almost like in the beginning, like I think the it pincer was you happening, off. and I just I miscalculated. I don't think the archer was fast enough. I don't think that the uh, the, the awesome clearly too slow. You know, I had him out there, and the plan was to kind of collapse around on one side. And he was just, you know, lugging along at his 3.5, doing his thing. Like, I could barely sustain a high rate of fire because I didn't want to stack those movement mods. It, I just, I, I think I screwed the pooch tactically on that one, but... Um, hey, plans are only good until... Something like The that. guns go off or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something like and, that. and it is funny because the Capellans, you guys kept... Tom, why don't you just, why just yeah, come sure, on? I'll come around. I'll come, come on camera get, here. Let me get, yeah, on, get, on, get, get in here. here. Yeah. <laughs> um, like a no, baseball I was say, photo. Well, as an, uh, an uninterested observer, what I saw is the Capellans did the exact opposite. They actually kept a really tight, like... Yeah, really I pushed good. that right side, yeah. my right side. You did really good. I yeah. knew, you know, with that archer up there, my strategy was to keep him out, because I knew... Yeah. You know, I should have never put him out there. That dropship was, no, was a good. unique it piece, because we've never really played a match where there was such an obstructive like, structure to, in, yeah. the, in the middle. It was middle. cool. I liked it. So really, it forced us to get in close range with... The, this forces that we had that was just a dirty fight. It was it was dirty. And there I, were PPCs. Oh, there was AC twenties. It was someone was bound to get hurt. I so can't believe both power. in feel it, spirit and body. Spirit today. and body. I can't believe I put one hundred and thirty five <laughs> points of damage down in one turn. Yeah. And the only the thing that happened survived. is he fell over. Yeah, and I I felt dirty filming it. I have to say, I was like, <laughs> I, I don't I have my hands over the. Just I mean, it goes to in it these brutal in, the, in these matches where we're sort of consolidating everything into like 10, 12 turns. It's it's hard to focus fire on one of these assault mechs right. unless you really just nail. And you kind of did. You nailed one location, but then it sort of drifted. I thought you were going to destroy at least one of his mechs you you had so much firepower so much so much and but it just just didn't yeah, happen. I, mean, I was scared to get in close range yeah. which is really where i wanted to get you with did. all those medium lasers because i was going to be doing some splash yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was towards the end when you both had beautiful lines coming around at each other it was, it was like a you know uh thunder a thunder front coming <laughs> in each other i just hate looking down the barrel of an ac20 it's it's always about about two and then Victor was hiding under that leg with an AC-20, oh I was like, God. oh, this is going to be so good. And that, that poor was guy, kill. he survived, yeah. he survived the shooting. All that fire, he's like, man, I took it, I got an engine hit, but whatever, I'm ready. And then he falls down on his I, ammo. I got it, boss, don't worry. Yeah, oh. right, like, what a scrub. Get this guy out. You're fired, bro. Did they invent case yet? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yes, yeah, that, that, that would, I don't know if that would have helped, to be honest, but... Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Um, but thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a like. Uh, leave some feedback. Let us know what you liked and what you didn't. I like and you. Uh, well, I, like I like you, you too. too. I like you, nice. Kev. Great game. I hate you both. You kicked my butt. It's still a little sore. And that said, <laughs> we'll see you next time from DFA Wargaming. Bye, guys.